Hey Pisces single. Good morning. I am here to do your love reading for the week, the last week of March. I'm doing the love reading for a single Pisces. Hope everyone's well and everything's going well out there. I'm in a house, so and I decided to do these readings for you guys. So, <clears throat> single Pisces, let's see what you guys got going on. I am Phoenix rising. This is as real as it gets. Welcome to my channel. I am a white witch, tarot card reader, earth angel, Hayoka empath. Ioka Empath is the strongest empath. Um, I can walk into a room and hear people talking in my head. <laughs> Things I'm not supposed to hear. Um, I guess I, I really didn't tell everybody. I guess I, I can tell you a little why I'm shuffling the cards. This has happened over the last eight months. Um. I don't know what I, I just continue praying and isolating myself. That's why being in the corona little shit we got going on don't bother me. Because I've been in the house for like a year and a half, so it doesn't it doesn't bother me. I just sit in the house with my dude and my kids, so I didn't it didn't have no effect on me. I wasn't going outside anyway. <laughs> and I don't talk to people anyway. I talk to my spirit guides and I talk to the higher power. So we're good. But, okay, Pisces, we're gonna, this is my white oracle deck. I'm gonna pull one card for you guys. Spirit says go from the bottom again. They told me that in the couple's reading for Pisces. So we're doing stuff a little different today. You know what? Y'all got the same card that the couples did. Okay? So I whatever's going on with the couples and the singles, with the Pisces, it's, it's going down. Got the same card. You just seen me shuffling, right? Okay. That's fine, though. I just read that one, but that's, that's all good, right? Okay. Spirit guys, I act as you get in clear clarity. For the Zodiac sign, Pisces. This is their single love reading for the last week of March. I ask for clear clarity, open portals, any messages that you have for Pisces. Please use me to get the message to them. Higher power, please come in. Last shuffle, spirit guys. All right, Pisces. Let's break this deck down. Five card draw followed by two card clarification. Pisces single. Last week of March. Top of the reading. Four of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Followed by the Hangman. The King of Swords is your fourth card. And last but not least, the Empress in reverse. Why is the Four of Pentacles here for Pisces? Upright. Here, guys. Why is the four of pentacles here upright for Pisces? Two card clarification. The nine of wands in reverse. The world card in reverse. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here for a single Pisces? Last week of March. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here in reverse for a single Pisces? 
or a single Pisces. The Hermit in Reverse. And Justice in Reverse. <clears throat> Somebody is really sad. I'm picking up on them. Uh, why is the Hangman here? Um, upright. For Pisces. Love Single. Last week of March. Why is the Hangman here? Upright. He's here. The Four of Swords, upright. Two of Pentacles, Pisces, upright. Why is the King of Swords here upright for Pisces? Single. The Four of Wands, upright is why the King of Swords is here. And... The lover's card upright. Ooh. That's a good card. Why is the Empress here? In reverse for a Pisces single. Last week of March. Okay, card flu. Three of Pentacles. Upright. Queen of Cups, upright. All right. I'm going to pause the video and meditate for you guys. I think you guys got a good reading. Pisces single, I shall return. After these messages, I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Okay. Pisces single, I'm back and I'm ready. Okay, <clears throat> two songs came while I was meditating. Um, the first song, and these are like two songs that are like entirely different, but somewhat the same. The first one was Usher Let It Burn. And then the second one was Single Ladies Beyonce. So those are the two songs for the single read for Pisces. And I'm going to start <clears throat> with the crown of the read was the four of pentacles upright. Did I get that right? Yes, I did. Okay, right. The four of pentacles upright. Um, this means um, holding on to an ex, not ready to move on. Um, you holding yourself back, single Pisces, uh, not letting go of the past. It's the Four of Pentacles. The reason the Four of Pentacles came, um, well, of course, it's the Nine of Wands in reverse. Um, so that means like... You kind of kind of got to get back out there. Not everybody's going to hurt you. Everyone's not the same. It's basically you kind of punishing everybody for someone's fuck up in the past or you holding on to something in the past. The world came in reverse. And the reason the world came is because um, you're struggling to move on. Um, you didn't get closure and you're not going to get closure from this person. Um, I guess you got cut off. Um, but the universe wants to help you move on. Um, you got cut off without warning from the relationship. You, it's, you struggling to move on because it just ended without like any type of warning. Like you got clipped and you feel some type of way about that single Pisces. And the next set, you got the Knight of Pentacles, uh, in reverse. And it means you're not ready for a commitment. Um, it could also mean you could meet somebody that's unfaithful, disloyal, a loser. So just watch out for this Knight of Pentacles because this can also be a person. But this could also really mean you're not ready to do anything right now. You kind of just need to date, have fun, don't get serious. 
that's kind of hard for a Pisces because you put your emotions into a lot of things and your emotions are not required um, in this situation. So you got the Hermit in reverse. Um, that means fear of lonely. <clears throat> uh, and you also want your ex back. So you can either want your ex back or you're just scared to be by yourself, which either one is not too good. So you kind of got to get that together. You got the justice in reverse. And that's like lack of balance, not ready to move on. So you got to deal with this past before moving on to anything else because it's going to keep coming back up. You got the, um, the hangman upright and it means releasing feelings for your ex let go rigid let go of rigid ideas basically um old negative patterns way of thinking like bad relationship oh oh juju you don't need that you got the four of swords also um to confirmation for that hangman and the four of swords is basically um solitude you need to be by yourself, kind of like isolation, um, to get type of, some type of introspective of what you want in a mate. So you need to figure that out. But you need to be by yourself to do that, um, to decide what you want in a partner. Like reevaluate what you want. Then you got the two of pentacles upright. And that means, it's just basically saying be honest with yourself. Are you ready? So it's like double confirmation. Like ask yourself that. Are you really ready? Because that's the question. And I think, oh, that's what I'm calling this this reading too. Are you ready? Are you ready, single Pisces? For your fourth set, you got the um, you got the the King of Swords, and the King of Swords basically is a strong person, um, honest. He is upright, so that's good. Morals, deep thinker. Um, he's going to want someone that's going to hold his interest and meet his standards too. So you can't be a bore. This could be an air sign. Um, just depends. It does not have to be an air sign, but this is like, uh, they're about their business. So you, you got to come with the come on with this one. Okay. Um, and with that, you got the four of wands upright. Um, and that just basically means there's going to be some type of gathering, like a party, a reunion, a celebration, or this could be a past love coming back. Um, and it's you going outside to basically say you fit in. You want to go out, you're going to feel like wherever you at that you actually fit in, you're going to enjoy yourself. So let loose at this celebration. Hopefully it's not um, canceled because of the damn corona, right? Then you got the lovers upright, um, which is always a great card, right? Look at that card. It's the lovers cards, like the best cards I have. It means love is coming, infatuation, romance, deep connection. This could also be this king of swords. Maybe it's his party of celebration or maybe his family or something, something you might be doing with him because that's why he's here for this party. <clears throat> then you got the Empress in reverse. Be yourself. Don't be something you're not. And it's not saying you're faking. It just it's just mean like don't fit in. You know, if you don't fit in, don't you might like that person, but you don't have to. If he likes spaghetti and you like macaroni, that's fine. You don't have to eat the damn spaghetti. You can eat whatever the hell you want. He'll be okay. That's what that means. Be yourself. You don't have to fit in. And that also means potential partner. Uh, it also comes. So you could not fit in, but you got somebody coming still. So that's fine. Which is probably, like I said, this Knight of Swords, which could be an air sign. Does not have to be. Then you got the Three of Pentacles upright. And um, that means like... You will meet somebody possibly at work or at school. Um, someone you notice will notice you. So that's a good thing. So, and that's why love is coming. Potential partner. That's what this. So, 
uh, at work or, you know, if you're in school, you can meet them there. Everything shut down, so we'll see. <laughs> um, then you got the Queen of Cups, was your last card. Um, it came with the Empress in reverse, and the Queen of Cups is here because um, it just means that if you're a guy watching this, you're going to meet uh, another um, water sign, a Scorpio, Cancer, or a Pisces. And you'll be compatible with this person. Or if you're a woman watching this, then this is you. This is uh, cups are emotions, water. This is a water sign, so this is this is you. This is a great card to have. It means you'll be like loyal, connected to the person. You'll listen. It'll work out. Um, deep connection, like all good stuff. So I'm trying to think of anything. Well, and this, oh, yeah, new romance. I said water sign. But you gotta get, you gotta, like, be able, open to meet someone. Open to this new romance. But not too open where you, like, falling in love. Okay? So, oh, you got the same card that the Pisces couples got. I reshuffled, you guys got the same card. So, that, that must be a great thing. So let me see what this means. It was such a bad idea to drink this much coffee in the morning. <laughs> I'm, I'm already over it now. It's ridiculous. It's like drinking water. Okay, Pisces, I'm sorry. Okay, let me get to this. I should have just kept the book open, right? I didn't know. Okay. Your meditation for the week, the last week of March, Pisces, it says your inner and outer scars are marked on your soul's courage. They are signs of strength and survival and your willingness to be alive. The scars speak of which you once caused pain, well, once the pain you once had has been transformed into a higher knowledge and an inner power. Trauma shall be transformed from spiritual leading you to wisdom you have nothing to be ashamed of you have the truth so you will heal to proceed in a higher purpose and being in a happy space you are strong and you shall flourish on all levels so that's great that's that's this for you and that was your card so and like I said, this reading is called, Are You Ready for This Romance? Because that's the question. Because someone's coming. So, are you really over your ex? Are you ready? If you're not, don't do it. Do not pass go. Okay. So, I hope I've been a help. If you would like to book me for a private reading, email me. Um, I'll be back to do weekly Every week, I'm going to do a career for Pisces, um, hopefully in the next couple days. So, um, and I'm Phoenix Rising. I hope you enjoyed this read, Pisces. You have a good day. Bye.